welcome to our farm, Roger. Um, we have about 2,000 acres of, of land here. We dedicate about 235 of that for potato production. Boy, we must be up pretty high. Look at, we're up in the mountains. You know, we're right in the foothills of the Rockies, basically. This field we're in is you know, about 4,800 foot elevation. And the way the process starts is actually with the potato. These are actually seed here. These and are the seeds? Those are the seeds, yes. That potato there will, will probably be cut one time, so you'll end up with two seed pieces. Well, it's almost big enough to be edible. I'd eat that. Oh, it'd be a wonderful potato to eat, of course. But it'll make an exact duplicate of the adult. It will, yes. Hmm. Once it's planted in the ground, this warm soil temperatures allows the potato to start growing. The plant reaches above ground. And, you know, as, as the plant grows up, you know, all the energy is going into that plant. And just before harvest time, we come in and we cut the vines. The energy now goes back into the tuber and, and, and gives the, the skin time to heal so that we can mechanically harvest the potatoes. I don't see any big machines around here. No, we have one small machine just for you. Oh, so that's why you have me carrying the exactly, shovel. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, how about here? That looks like a great spot right there. Just dig down a little and loosen the soil and then we can get in there with our hands and hopefully we'll find some nice potatoes there. We should end up with somewhere between eight to 10 potatoes per plant. And they'll range in size from three ounce on up to a 16 or even bigger ounce potato than that. You know, sometimes when we're out in the field, Roger, we just, we'll wipe the dirt off and, and uh, sample our own wares. Take a bite. Mm. Nice and cool and crispy. Really crunchy. Really crunchy. Very earthy. So we end up with all these potatoes. Where do they go now? Well, from here, once they're harvested, we take them to our, our uh, storage facility. We call it a potato cellar. Show me the way. Let's go. We have a very short window in the fall to harvest our potatoes, Roger. And, and people like their potatoes year round. Yeah. So to meet that demand, we have to be able to store potatoes. And we have the ability to store these for almost a year. A year? Yeah, a whole year. I got to see this. Holy cow, look yeah. at that. Here we are, Roger. This is the inside of the potato cellar we were talking about. You know, nearly 16 feet high, 250 feet long, about five million pounds of potatoes. Five in million there. pounds. Five million pounds. And in order to store those potatoes, we have to have the ability to maintain a constant temperature and humidity in here, uh, which we like about 45 degrees and about 90 plus percent humidity. In order to maintain that, we have a large fan and a humidifier, and then that forces air down a plenum through pipe in the pile, perforated pipe, and the air is forced up through the pile and it just recirculates as, as often as we need it, which is almost around the clock. Amazing. It's fantastic. James, let's be serious. Not everyone has oh, 200 acres and a big storage area to grow potatoes on. Right. What can a homeowner do? Well, a homeowner, um, you know, we can go by example here. This particular homeowner has a dedicated plot for potatoes. It's about 12 square feet here. And it's in and amongst everything else that he's grown this season from melons and, and squash and corn and cabbage and carrots and onions and you know tomatoes and peppers and here we have mounds of potatoes mm -hmm. and it's a very similar process as to what we do on the farm uh, just on a smaller scale so here we and, have three mounds here yeah we've got the mounds here and uh, you know why don't you just go ahead and dig in there Roger and we'll see what we come up with I'll help you pull the potatoes out as you go see what we come up with Ooh, that's a and uh, you can see here that they've uh, planted some beautiful red potatoes nice color on those Wow. various sizes um, you know, it, and, and you can grow any kind of variety of potato you like. There's so many to choose from. See here, Roger, it looks like he's planted some yellows. Oh, great. Found another red in the process there from the other hill. For a homeowner, you'd want to go to your, your you know, lawn and garden center and buy your, your seed potatoes, plant them. As the vine grows, you're going to want to continue to mound the soil around it to prevent, uh, prevent the potatoes from, you know, possibly poking out of the, the side of the hill, if you will. You'll prevent uh, possible greening of the, the end of the potato from being exposed to sunlight. We're doing pretty well here. Now the question becomes, how do we store them? Well, we can go into the homeowner's kitchen here and we'll, uh, we'll show you what to do for storage in the house. Let's take a look. Okay. So if, for home storage, Roger, what you want to do if you've grown your, your own and you still have dirt on them, leave the dirt on them. Uh, don't wash them. Um, if, if you wash the potatoes, it could promote rot. 
keep them covered up, you know, in a box with a towel or over with some burlap. A lot of people who don't grow their own buy them in a, you know, a clear plastic bag like this one. Um, you want to remove them from the bag when you get home and, you know, take a, like possibly a, a reusable uh, shopping bag yeah. or a canvas bag of some sort, put them in that, keep it closed up. Again, keep the sunlight off so that they, you know, to prevent the greening. Okay. Okay. Well, once you have them ready to go, where once in the house do you want to put them? A common mistake would be to store them in the refrigerator. Why is that? Well, it's dark for one thing, which is what you want, but it's just too cold in there. You don't want to store them in the refrigerator. Another common mistake would be under the, under the sink. Uh, you don't want them there because the, the dishwasher is typically next to the sink when it's running. It's too hot. You have hot water running. It warms up too much there. What about a cabinet like this? A cabinet like that would be fine. Um, you know, you want to obviously keep the door closed, but uh, it's okay. Um, a preferable place would be the pantry. Um, if, you have, if you're fortunate to have a pantry like this, you want to keep them on a bottom shelf or on the floor. And remember to always keep them covered up. An even better option than that is in the basement or possibly the crawl space in your house. That, those would be the, really the best choice of all. Well, thanks, James. I really learned a lot today. I think even I can grow potatoes. Well, you're welcome, Roger, and we really appreciate you coming to Idaho. It's been you our pleasure to have you here. No, please take those home with you. <laughs>